Welcome to Electron Online. In the last video, we saw how to find the basis of a 2x2 two two matrix. Here, we're going to do it for a 3x3 three three matrix. Here, A is defined, and we have one eigenvalue, lambda equals negative 1. And we're going to use this principle here to find the eigenvector, which then, of course, helps us find the basis. So we're going to subtract a minus 1 from each of the diagonal elements. Well, subtracting a minus 1 is like adding a plus 1, and so the matrix becomes as follows. When we multiply times the vector, we get the following. So we get 13 plus 1 gives us 14, minus 12, minus 8. Here we get 6, minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4, and minus 4, and here we have 12, minus 12, and a minus 7 plus 1 is a minus 6. We're going to multiply that times the vector we're looking for, the eigenvector x, y, and z. Of course, you could use x1, x2, x3, whichever you prefer. I tend to prefer x, y, and z, and 0, 0, 0 for the 0 vector. All right, I'm trying to make these into zeros. We're trying to get this down to the reduced row echelon form. To do that, I might be better off by switching row 1 and row 3. I'm going to start with that. R1 switched with R3 will give us the following. And we're going to write this as an augmented matrix. So we end up with 0, 0, 0. Row 3 goes to row 1, 12, minus 12, minus 6. We have 6, negative 4, negative 4. And this goes down here, 14, minus 12, minus 8. Next, I'm going to take row 1 and divide by 12 because I want to turn that into a 1. So we take row 1 and write it as 1 12th row 1. When we do that, we get the following augmented matrix. That gives us a 1, a minus 1, and a minus 1 half, 0. Everything else stays the same. 6 minus 4 minus 4 and 14 minus 12 minus 8. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to turn these two into zeros, right? We're going to take these and turn those into zeros. We can do that by taking row 2 and replacing it by negative 6 times row 1 plus row 2. And row 3 can be written as the negative of that number, 14 times row 1 added to row 3. When we do that, these two elements will become zeros. The first row doesn't change. 1, negative 1, negative 1 half, and 0. So we get negative 6 times 1 added to that gives us 0. Negative 6 times a minus 1 is a plus 6 added to negative 4 is a plus 2. Negative 6 times this is 3 added to negative 4 is minus 1. And that gives us 0. Here, negative 14 times this added to 14 is 0. Negative 14 times this is a positive 14, added to negative 12 is a positive 2. And negative 14 times this is a positive 7, added to negative 8 is a negative 1. And now notice that row 3 and row 2 are identical, which means we can eliminate one of the two rows, and this will become as follows. So when we eliminate the bottom row, we get 1, negative 1, negative 1 half, 0, then we get 0, 2, negative 1, and 0, and here we get 0, 0, 0, and 0. All right, now to find the eigenvector. We can go to the second row and realize that 2y minus z equals 0. When we bring this across here, we get 2y is equal to z, and we can let y equals 1, let y equals 1, then z equals 2 times 1, or 2. Now, bringing that into our second equation up here, we can write that x minus y minus half z is equal to 0, but I've already got values for y and z. When we plug those in, we find the associated value for x. We say that x minus y, y is 1, that's minus 1, and z is 2, minus 1 half z is minus 1 half times 2, or minus 1 equals 0, or x equals 2. So there are the three values belonging to the eigenvector. I can now say that my first vector, v1, the eigenvector, is equal to, for x we get 2, for y we get 1, for z we get 2. There's my eigenvector. So the set can now be written as containing the vector 2, 1, and 2. And this forms the basis, 
So this is equal to the basis for the eigenspace associated with the matrix A and the eigenvalue lambda equals negative 1. And that's how that's done.